Okay, so today we're going to talk about metals and, and where we get them from. So we we spent yesterday looking at what um, a metal is and how it works internally, how the bonding works, and today we're going to look at where we get those metals from. So generally, the metals that we use are all found in the Earth's crust. Now, of course, there's talk to using asteroids for mining and all that sort of stuff, but yeah, it's been a bit more terrestrially based, terrestrially based, and yes, we get all of our metals from the crust. So, the crust is made up of about 40% oxygen. Um, but that oxygen doesn't exist as a gas, so it's, it's as, an, as oxides of or oxides with metals and silicon. Now, silicon oxide, as you know, is sand. Uh, silicon is the next largest percentage at 28%. And all of the metals we use are in the remaining quarter, pretty much. Ah, of course, by the way, aluminium is the most abundant iron now. Well, we'll get into that in a minute. All right. How do we get these metals? First, let's look at pure metals. Okay, so pure metals are called native. So these are metals we find in the crust as pure metals, sorry. So they're native metals. Uh, they're found in either nuggets or veins running through rocks. Generally, they're very stable or unreactive, meaning the same thing. And these include things such as, if you've got gold, um, silver, copper, and cadmium. Now, of course, those are the symbols, and well, you should recognize at least some of them. Now, which brings us to minerals. These are the most interesting chemically. They are not pure at all. They're not pure. They're, they're generally the reactive metals. Okay, and basically a mineral is a rock containing a large amount of certain metals. So, so rocks contain Now, quite simply, ores are minerals with enough metal in them that it's worthwhile mining. So, Alright, let's finish off with this table. 
Now, bauxite is the ore we find in the ground. Again, there's enough of it. There's enough of the certain particular metal that it's worth mining. The bauxite, it's, the bauxite itself is aluminium oxide, which is Al2O3. And the metal we from that is clearly aluminium. Now, with your notes, uh, just to finish off, give you a bit more to do, you know, because you haven't enough, I will get you a finish this table. And, yeah, enjoy. See you in class tomorrow. We have an experiment, and it should be a fun one.